Jazzy with ModernHippieMag.com, your online source for green living. TheGreenGirls.com We're here with Sarasota entrepreneur Vincent Desper, and we're going to be taking a look at some really ingenious things that he's done with his roof. Hey! How you doing? Great! So what in the world is going on on your roof? It's called the Vertigro Grow System and you can actually go to the Land of Tomorrow, whatever it is, in Disney World and see them. Uh -huh. It's uh, just a really efficient way to grow. Wow! So what was the point? Why did you decide to do this? Uh, because I didn't want the food to be out in the middle of nowhere and have to be trucked in. I figured we needed something downtown where people can get to and mm -hmm. the food's grown. Now when did you get started? It's been a couple of months. You've had some long. amazing growth in just a couple of months. Well, some of these were starter plants. They come in like this. Strawberries are virtually impossible to produce. You gotta, you basically, you buy the starter plant. Mm -hmm. So, how many plants do you have all together? I have no idea. <laughs> Quite a bit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's your long-term goal for what you grow? I'd like to put a raw cafe in downstairs, so then your food travels 15 feet, not 1,500 miles. Excellent. What's the square footage of the building? It's 3,000 square feet, and I've got, I've got space for just a little under 6,000 plants. Now, what's the, um, the weight bearing of your rooftop? All roofs are built to a minimum of 20 pounds for commercial, 40 for residential, and these, these have a 5 pound per square foot roof load, so you're well within any load tolerances of any roof out there. This was something you've been thinking about doing for years. So this is not an overnight process. No, it's not an overnight process. I researched all the systems out there and all the different grow methods and everything. And I mean, you've got recirculating methods and drip fee. I mean, you've got so many different way nutrient film techniques. And the thing that, the reason I went with this is you're not catching your your feed, so you, you never have to worry about any pathogen growth in your recycling mm -hmm. back through and dripping it back in. You just have a small percentage that drains out, and that's it. So where do the like kits come from? These kits are manufactured, well, the guy that invented them is from Summerfield, north of, in the northern side of Florida there, and he invented them like 35 years ago, and he's been marking them ever since, and they are everywhere. Wow. I mean, he just got back from putting a few thousand acres of them in Dubai. So, I mean, it's a big, it's a big thing. It's a coming thing. Wow. I mean, I think it's a great thing. So tell us a bit of how it works. I see that you've got some lines running here. How does it work? Well, you have a nutrient barrel and your pH barrel or whatever, and you have two pumps. And then you put the mixture in once in a while, because nice big barrels, and then it, it, the computer turns on three times a day and drops three feedings into the top tube of each one. And basically that's pretty much it. You fill your barrels every couple of weeks. So nice and simple. And that's it? That's it. So what about the soil then? What is it? Actually, you, you don't use soil. It's hydroponic, so it's a sterile growth media. All your nutrients and everything comes in through your drip feed line. So all you're doing is holding the roots, basically. Wow. This is probably the least amount of water you can use to grow. But the thing that makes this really makes it is you really don't have to use any toxic pesticides or something, any of that stuff. Most of your pesticide problems gone away anyway just by the fact that you're not growing in soil. Mm -hmm. So you lose your soil-based uh, pests and your soil-based diseases. And you're also not growing in soil and there's no soil anywhere around here. So you've got no weeds to deal with. So what yeah. type of plants do you have? What type of fruit and vegetables? Everything and everything. Peppers, beets, okra, cauliflower, strawberries. Would you say that it's, it, is it a difficult process to put it all together? No, it just, you gotta, it's just laborative. So you're still though, you're educating yourself on the best means of maintaining this, right? Oh yeah, everything. Anytime you're dealing with plants, it's an education. For more information on how you can start your own rooftop garden, visit vertigrow.com. TheGreenGirls.com